Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 52 of the Don't Think Toward Podcast, the podcast brought to you by Andre, Johnny, Patrick, and myself, Matchy. Welcome back to this week's episode after a week off from recording. That's 52 straight weeks, 51 straight weeks we recorded. And, uh, you know, the team needed a little bit of a break. Uh, were they recording late night? And some miscommunication. Johnny didn't get that. We were supposed to meet up for this episode at my house this morning. However, uh, we couldn't. Just couldn't make it work. Our schedules are a little crazy right now. Couldn't make it work. So we said, we agreed, Zoom call later tonight, 8.30 p.m. All right. That's the agreed upon uh, That's the agreed upon time. And Johnny shows up at my house for the recording. Yo, my brain, when I read the messages, like live, skipped Zoom. I just said, when you guys said 8, 8.30, I was like, oh, yeah, 8.30. I could probably get home around 7.30. Takes me about an hour. No, it takes me about like half an hour to get to matches. Yeah, give me like half an hour to chill, and then I can just go over there. <laughs> Zoom was not part of that, <laughs> that message in my brain. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> What's Zoom? You mean Zoom over to his house after work? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. That's, that's what, that's what it's all good. All is forgiven. All is forgiven. We're going to bang out this episode. Make it make it a good one like we always do. Every single damn week we create quality, quality content. Um, gentlemen, I feel woozy. I'm not going to lie to you. I got vaccinated for the first time. I got my first dose today. I got my first dose today. It was, um, so this is how it went down. It was, I sat down, the lady's like, so do you have any symptoms? She asked me the whole mumbo jumbo questions, the same shit I signed on the paper. Don't know why she had to re-ask me the questions anyways. So I'm sitting there and she's like, um, she's getting ready. She's asking me all these questions. She's like, do you have any questions? I was like, yes. Tell me when you're about to stick it in. Cause I'm going to look away. <laughs> and oh, that's the idea said. is once once you get the vaccine you're supposed to wait there for like 15 minutes and i told her straight up i'm like i'll wait here 15 minutes but if i faint just know it's not because of the vaccine mm-hmm. it's because of the needle that you jabbed into my arm so i closed my eyes and like i haven't had a needle in my body for a very long time i think it was since mid high school was the last time I had a needle in my body. So I closed my eyes and I put my head to the side. I squinted and I felt her jab this thing in and she wasn't gentle. She like, it was clear that she was there for a few hours and oh, her shift lost all her tenderness. Yeah. Her, her shifts would got like a little hectic, I'm guessing. Cause it was um, at a place where they just did like this whole uh, vaccine event where, they had a shitload of vaccines and they was like, they're open 24 hours now. And I just went there to wait on my vaccine. I thought I was getting Moderna, but I got, they gave me a Pfizer. So that was good, bad. I don't know. I don't care. Um, I just got travel in September. So I was like, give me whatever. Anyways, I feel this thing. She jams this bitch in and I feel, I feel her squeeze whatever was inside that needle inside of me. And I sat there and she's like, okay, all done. And I was like, I'm going to need a minute. I'm going to need She's like, oh, I have another patient. Can you like go walk around the store? I get up and I'm like, yeah, I, you could handle your pain. I'm just going to sit on the floor. <laughs> I sat on the floor for like 11 minutes and I know I felt really bad because to her, she understood why I was sitting on the floor. Like I explained that I'm not easy. Needles are very uneasy for me, but the 10 people in line, they didn't know that. Uh, so they thought yo this so they, they, adverse thought, effects. they thought they thought there was some something bad it was it, like i when i got up what the hell is that when i got up like i just remember like having my head down and i'm just like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god trying to like regroup my strength i finally managed to get up and like force myself to go get a water bottle like i went to go purchase a water bottle at the store one of the, the person who was behind me in line, the next person was already like, I think he just left the line. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know. 
I feel bad. And now my arm, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. It, do, it doesn't feel good, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just, ugh. Let's see, bro. Tomorrow's going to be the moment of truth, whether or not you're going to just be Gucci or whether or not you're going to have, gonna be whether or not I'm taking a day off. I told my boss already. I was like, just an FYI, dude. I took the, uh, I took a, a, a vaccine today. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> keep you updated so i'm gonna wake up set my alarm for for 6 30 in the morning and and analyze Don't, the situation people have been telling me this whole time that when you get vaccinated they're supposed to give you like two days off or something like yeah. by like government mandate or some shit yeah no. but i didn't get that when i did mine either so i don't know all i all i know is my arm is in incredible pain right now yo you got to keep that shit moving or it's just gonna get worse really you have to move it as much as possible yeah Oh my god, this Keep shit hurts like flowing. a this shit hurts like a bitch already. Fuck, uh, it's it's awful. It's awful, and I I'm just imagining how it's gonna. How long is it? You you are you double dosed? Mhm. Mhm. I gotta go through this shit one more time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck. My second dose was ten times worse than my first one. Really? I have a buddy who who <laughs> I have a buddy who when he did his second dose, he said, and I quote, "Dude, I saw heaven." <laughs> <laughs> it's all good bro like, are you, you get are over you it. are you on moderna or team pfizer both oh you got the mix ah, yeah, collecting, oh, I think, I, I, collecting them I, out here like infinity stones <laughs> i think that's why you're all worried. fucked up i think that's Don't why you felt fucked worried. up huh? Nah, a lot of people like the second dose for pretty much everyone is worse than the first one. Oh, don't don't remind me. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. You I'll did it that. once, bro. You got your G1, might as well get your G2, bro. Oh, I gotta you wait 20 days. Saying? Oh man, I don't know. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, my um, I don't know. A part of me doesn't want to feel like shit, but another part of me kind of wants the day off, but I don't know if the day off is worth feeling like that so. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be because you could just take the day off, anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but just this. It's one. Of, it's it's listen, my situation. My situation at my work right now is mm-hmm. at a point where we have one guy who just who's on leave currently. Yeah, and it's 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 a situation where if I'm not doing my work, nobody's covering for me. Yeah, and oh, if so I like- if I come back on Tuesday. I am it's for Wednesday, work. Thursday, Friday, oh, and I. Uh, it's like one of those where uh, I'd rather be at work, yeah, just just to, just to have the rest of my week a little easier. I feel you. That makes sense. That sucks, but also you should just quit. Anyways, oh, <laughs> maybe I don't know. I think my boss watches this podcast. So don't say that. Why is Does he your actually? boss watch this podcast? Uh, Yo, shout no, out I, to I, your I, boss. I, I do. I do have. I do have coworkers who watch this. Oh, for real. Woo! Yeah. Oh, well, I think, I think, man. I think, but but they but they understand my frustration with with my current position. So okay, I was about to say That's good because cool. you talk a lot of shit about your work, your <laughs> boss to be working <laughs> talking. <laughs> you know, but- Matt, she's right. <laughs> I do manage this company terribly. <laughs> oh, oh, so another story from work. See what happened was um, I had a really bad week this last week. Like a really bad week at the office. I printed, I think it was just under 60,000 labels. Just under 60,000 labels before realizing I didn't put a phone number. So when I made the design, I knew that I put a place where the phone number should have went. And mm-hmm. I wrote 905-000-0000. This is a placeholder. Like a placeholder. Yeah, like a placeholder. Like this is the font that's going to be used. This is where it's going to go. And the client approved it. Mm-hmm. And it was one of those where I sent it to the client like on a Monday. Yeah. And he approved it on like a Wednesday night. So I said, okay, Thursday morning, I'm going to print. First thing I come into the office, I didn't even check the files. I'm like, he approved this file. I'm just going to print the file. Bam. 60,000 labels. I'm sitting there like, oh yeah, not even 10, not even 10 a.m. I already got 60,000 labels printed. Oh, it's going to be a breeze of the day. I look down. That's a, that's a lot yeah. of that's like just under five thousand feet of paper just yeah. gone garbage. Mm-hmm. There's so many yeah. trees, bro. I don't There's know a lot of trees and a lot of glue. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of glue. Did, did you have to label them? Did you what laminate you them? No, no, no. I did them out. 
<laughs> I threw them out. <laughs> as far as I'm gonna, was like, oh. I threw them out, I threw them out, and I took the. You've been here for an hour and you didn't do anything. I took I took that L oh, instead no. of the I instead of the holy shit you printed five thousand feet of wrong <laughs> material <laughs> of wrong which, labels. Why? Which L's worse? Definitely the waste of material. Oh, 100 percent. Because that's like money gone. That's right? money. Yeah. I just lit money on fire. Yeah, but like, the, aren't they gonna find out anyways? Good no, thing this was a hypothetical out? story that Machi created in his mind. <laughs> oh no, actually everyone happen. knows. Everyone knows. <laughs> everyone about my boss, man. Yeah, so, but that's what I'm saying. Like, how would like wouldn't your boss know that that happened? How would he know? Because like don't you have how- someone? Don't you have someone there like managing your resources? So like you know what's like happening like well, how much money is being spent on andre, certain things and all andre, that stuff? Andre, 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 andre. if i gave you a better idea of what kind of company we're dealing with here you would know damn well no one's managing resources all right dude <laughs> all right well that that works better for you then That's oh good. fuck i think i have a bloody nose <laughs> oh. <laughs> i think my nose is bleeding guys oh, I, mean, I think my nose is bleeding I, I, I just felt like wetness in your nose. I uh, yeah, no, what is my nose? I'm just running my fingers through it. Oh, oh you shit. do have a bloody nose. You got any loose tampons around? I'll be right back. You guys keep talking. I'm gonna stop, <laughs> I'm gonna stop my toilet paper rolling inside my nose. I'll be right back. All this right, is live yeah. on the podcast. <laughs> this guy's uh, talking trash about his work. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Now <laughs> oh. his nose just starts bleeding, bro. That's a bad omen. God damn. Well, um, while Matchy's indisposed, uh, how was your week? Bro, I'm physically broken. Oh, you're you're back to actually being active I, again. Yeah, bro. Training like basically four times a week, but then five because I play with Matchy, and then one or two more times because I have to do shit on my own. And that's just in my body does not like that at all. Like at all. That's good, bro. bro. That's good, man. I wish I wish I was in your position, homie. I'm over here just wasting away slowly. Honestly, it was kind of nice. We were we had a we had an exhibition game against uh the U19 TFC Academy yesterday. Yeah. We were playing on the grass, bro, at the at their training center. Bro, I walked, I took two steps, and I I felt this like you know that tingling in your in your at the bottom of your pulse in your loins like when you're like i don't know how to explain it but like you're just it's nothing nothing about the environment is sexual but you mm-hmm. feel aroused Pre- pre-orgasmic right? yeah it's yeah. it was sensual that's what it was and just seeing the ball glide and it was raining a little bit <sighs> okay <clears throat> mm-hmm. yeah that was that was uh that was my that was yesterday mm-hmm. and were they nasty? They were, were you guys nasty. Did you win? No, we lost three two or two one. Y'all are trash. But bro. we've only been a team for like two weeks, so we have no chemistry. But we play like hey. we've been playing hey. all right. That's oh what I God. tried to. <laughs> <laughs> we got toilet paper in the nose. Currently stopping. It was going bad, boys. It was going bad. Hold on, I gotta rip this thing off. I don't know. Is this professional? You gotta okay. do what you gotta do, bro. It's all right. Don't, you, you gotta tank too through much, it, bro. You You're really gotta should, tank through it. You should keep tampons in your house just for that occasion. For those, occasions. I should keep tampons because I have a mother who hasn't, you know, had her date yet, and then I have a girlfriend who comes here, and sometimes I should have emergencies. Ah, yeah, I was Ouch. going bad. Sorry for the panting. <laughs> I was rushing. You couldn't really breathe through your nose either, could you? No, I do. I, I thought. I thought. I. It's like. <laughs> I've had a runny nose all day. I think it was like allergy. Yo, it's the Pfizer. <laughs> yeah, don't say that. Hey, don't say- hey, hey, hey. Um, the views of Machi are just jokes. And um, government, please leave this video exactly where it is. Um, thank you very much. Um, um listen to your heart, okay, guys. Let's get Everyone- our tinfoil caps on, kids. No, no, this everything is a joke. Someday. Everything involved in this um podcast is a joke, nothing is serious. And nothing uh, is serious. follow follow your heart, hey, okay? hey, hey, <laughs> and your dreams, and Justin your dreams. Trudeau. If you're taking this podcast seriously, you're thinking, don't think too hard, buddy. 
Don't think, a think too hard. Too buddy. hard. Justin All Trudeau, we're doing, Justin Trudeau. If you're listening to this podcast, I think I should get a seat. Yo, speaking of that guy, have you guys noticed? Like, he has a haircut yet? He hasn't had a haircut since the start of COVID. Oh no. Well, I guess that. But like, <laughs> when he's addressing the public, I don't know if you guys get the same effect that I do. But the way this guy stares into the camera and speaks sounds like he's trying to seduce me. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but whenever I watch this guy address the nation, Listen. I'm like, bro, is this just for gray or is this my prime minister or is it both? I think it's a Canadian I feel uncomfortable, thing. bro. I don't talk like that. I'm, I'm know, talking to I, I've, had, I've had, prof- <laughs> I've had prof- like, it's one of those where he, like, I think the reason why it sounds like that is because it's like the way his eyes just stare into your soul through the camera but he could look i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know what it is i've had that experience he's a he's a second person where i've been like are you trying to seduce me sir but <laughs> it's so impersonal that i'm my body's like what the what's going on i here? think you should i think you should call um parliament and um talk or, in, it's like, like file the inquiry yeah, and then when they ask you, sir, what do you want? You like, I need to talk to the prime minister like immediately. Yeah. And then yeah. they say, why? He's like, I think he's, he's trying um, to seduce me. seduce me through the television, and I just yeah. need to confirm. Yeah, to be I fair, didn't consent with but the way with the I way the internet with, with the way the with how much power the internet has. I wouldn't be surprised if that didn't get a little bit of traction. Yo, it probably could. <laughs> We're gonna have to do that now. <laughs> Yo, if if you if you start half a three. Twitter thread, and if it starts getting, if this it gets, how, if it reaches the fifteen hundred retweet area, oh, that shit's blown up. Yeah, and then they can't ignore us, bro. Yeah, then he has to change. He what are you talking about, stop. Trudeau? So Johnny has to go tweet that Trudeau's trying to seduce him through the TV. Go yeah. tweet it or something yeah. like that. I don't know. Or make a subliminal messaging, bro, or a statement. <laughs> Oh Yo, just gonna... that a whole conspiracy thread is like this is how the government is no. literally trying to fuck us. What you gotta do is you gotta go to Toronto in the morning. Okay. No. Look around. You said look Toronto. Around. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Go to Toronto in the morning. Look around. Look for the CTV, the CBC, like the vans when they're doing like their morning oh, news things. Just, you gotta um, find one and you just walk in there, take it, and then give your message and you explain how important it is. And then I, I get jumped okay. by 14 security guards, curb stomped and put to sleep permanently. I don't know because um, I've like walked past them and it's literally one dude with a camera and the person talking and like that's it. <laughs> Wait, oh, what bet. are we talking for what? News reporters. Yeah, the news oh. reporters like in Toronto, yeah, like no you know, security. like the ones giving you the weather or just like talking about random oh, stuff, like breakfast television. Yeah, yeah, like whenever I'm down there, like it's literally one dude with a big ass camera and then the person talking. That's it. Damn, that's a lot of equipment and money for two people to just be trusted with. Yo, that camera is so big, bro. Like I don't know what it is. It's huge. To I be fair, so I like that. full that's credit, an actual full cannon. Credit. What? It's an actual cannon. I see what you did there because Canon yeah. makes cameras. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I found out today? What? But this is a little off topic. That you're a pussy? No. Um, <laughs> oh, why does my nose hurt so much? You, <laughs> you're a pussy. Too much like, cocaine, bro. Too much on. hardcore, uncut Colombian <laughs> cocaine. See, isn't it weird how like I we can freely say he's doing cocaine, but scared to mention anything about the vaccine? <laughs> yeah, that. Hey, weird. I didn't. I didn't actually say anything. I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> isn't it even weirder? Oh, that talking about to, flu shot. That they have commercials about the vaccine. Like they need to. Have you heard facts advertise that it? Have you heard facts yeah. that thing up the song? Oh yeah. This is the guy who who made the song. You know, back, back that, that ass at us. Back that oh, ass up. The back song, that but, ass. Yeah, but they made guy, it va- vax same, that thing up. Sa- yeah, same guy re- re- remade it, calling back that thing up. Damn. Uh, Anyways, what'd uh, you learn? Oh yeah, no, no, not, not, I'm more like, like more like an observation. Um, I think Canada is the only place where human beings do this, because think about it. Human beings do what? Say Canadians sorry, especially. No, no, no. This is even weirder. Like the, once here, when I heard this. It could, didn't get on my head, and now it drives me fucking crazy. 
Canadians especially, nobody does this else on the planet Earth. Okay. Canadians especially, their sense of distance is measured in time. Like, oh, that's, yeah. that thing, like, oh, that Timmy's is 15 minutes away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't say you know, that Timmy's people, is 20 other kilometers people, away. People, other people don't say that? No. Really? Are, are no. you sure? 100%. That sounds. Just... I went to everywhere in Europe. Now that I th- like, See, that's what I thought. I thought it was just normal. Yeah. But when I go to Poland, and I remember all the times my uncles and aunts and, like, when my dad would ask the locals or I would ask the locals, they would always say, oh, it's about 10 kilometers that way. And you make a left, take five kilometers and then you're pretty much there. But how do you know that's just not the people that you talk to? Because there are people. If I go to Toronto and ask 70 people, some will give me distance. Some will give me time. Some will like, give me fucking give directions. Me Don't tell me to go north. <laughs> Don't ever tell me to go north. If you hit the, <laughs> Nissan, the Nissan Ultima parked on the left side of 71st street you've, you've gone, gone too far. far you're three blocks too far bro <laughs> no but it was like it was this guy who I, th- I forget where he i think it was in australia or england he uh he moved to canada and he's like one thing that drives me crazy now when i moved to canada is i notice all you got your guy's sense of distance is all time oh this place is about 15 minutes away this how place. am I supposed to know because, how far shit is, bro? Because the, 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 the reason why he was so confused is that his, that journey per se might be affected based on how fast he's going, you know, or how much traffic there is. So it's for him, yeah. it, it didn't make any sense. But to us, it'd be like when you, when we say 15 minutes away, it's on it's an like average time average. going to speed, yeah. going slightly yeah. over the speed limit. Even, exactly. <laughs> and then <laughs> on an average day, this is how long it might take you, bro. Yeah. And we're saying we say about, bro, might take you fifteen minutes, but if you're in Brampton, might take you two and a half hours. Also, Very, mm-hmm. how the hell know. am I supposed to keep a GPS in my head? And at any random given day, you that's can also ask true. me about something that I'm not expecting you to ask me that's about. Very say, true. Oh yeah, that's like from here. That's like 35 kilometers. No, no, but see, I think I think elsewhere people have a better understanding of distance. No, like I know stupid. me especially. That's I don't know. I like my, my dad, my dad, yeah. he he doesn't say the 15 kilometers thing. He says, he says time. Yeah. No, 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 no. Sorry. He doesn't the opposite say time. Of what he, he said, said he says, yeah, so he doesn't if, say time. If you asked him how far away is Campion, he'd give you a, he'd give me a, oh, a kilometer like, estimate. Yeah, he'd probably give you like, oh, you know, 15 kilometers. That, is so, that doesn't help me at but all. See, here's that, the thing. See, that does, that's yeah, it doesn't, crazy. It doesn't <laughs> help me because like, I don't care how far it is. How how long? How much? <laughs> what chunk of my day is being taken <laughs> yeah, up by this journey? That's what I need to know. Because right? if you tell me it's 10 kilometers, but there's 45 minutes of traffic, exactly. I'm going to come back to you and knock you out. Because <laughs> that's foolishness. <laughs> you tell me it's 20 minute drive, but I'm driving 60 kilometers. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Ooh, 20 minutes. What's that? It doesn't matter. Listen, Time. if it if it takes uh. me 20 minutes, I don't care if it's 30, 30 meters or 400 kilometers. <laughs> if it's 30 minutes, it takes me 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes. That's what I'm saying. You're and <laughs> I was about sorry, to... Sorry. Fuck. Uh, what? what was I going to say? I was going to say something, but I totally forgot what it was. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Just move on, bro. Just... <laughs> I'm trying to move my arm. Oh, y'all actually, are distracting me, bro. That angered me so much, bro. Don't do that. What? Don't do Andre that. Andre said to move my arm. It's going to hurt like a bitch. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm not. The time and distance and... Oh. But like, now now watch. Now watch. Every time you're going to talk to somebody a revol- res- like revolving around distance, they're going to say a time and it's going to drive you crazy. It won't Honestly, because it, it makes won't. sense. Because <laughs> if someone... If I come to somebody... All right, fine. It's I, not going to drive I, you I crazy, but it's going to make you laugh. Imagine you've never been to this place before and you're asking them, bro, how do I get here? Or how long, how long is it going to take me? Because I have to be here at a certain time. Yeah. Oh, it's 10 kilometers. It shouldn't take that long. But how, how long? It's, yeah. it's 10 kilometers. What are you talking? So you're just saying that Canadians are more prestigious than the rest of the Yeah, world. think of it this way. Before this podcast, bro, I was out. So I was like, hmm, I have to time this so I can get back in time for the podcast. If I'm like this and I have 10 kilometers to go, what time do I leave then? 
Huh? What time do I leave? How do <laughs> I know when to get back here now? I, I figured it out. You know what it is? I think it's the culture because I don't, okay, maybe I'm, I'm making a guess, but in Poland, is it more laid back than in Canada? Like other, I, other, I other people? Know. I don't know, man. I okay. don't know. I, was see, say, I feel like see, in see. most places in Europe, though, it's it's, it's way more, more laid back and less capitalist than it is yeah. here. It's so the, if you're not in a big. Here's, rush here's to another. Get here's places, another thing. So, sorry to bother. Sorry to bother you, Johnny. Sorry to interrupt you. Every time I've ever needed to be somewhere in Poland, I was on vacation at the time. Oh, so you don't know? So there was there was yeah, no, yeah. you know. And but I feel like, I feel like in Europe people are more chill. I yeah, mean, when I when I went to Spain, like people just seem more chill and i don't think they really like no one has like times to be you didn't see people sprinting across streets like in new york or toronto Uh, not like that no no one's risking their life for the bus (laughs) yeah no one's crossing through like eight lanes of traffic just to catch a bus to take you one kilometer i I didn't see one single person trying to physically pull back a subway (laughs) as it's moving away (laughs) not one single person has done that the fact that that is an example in your life <laughs> is a bit mad. Yo, people are stressed about like being late for work, bro. And yeah. like the craziest oh. thing about like subways literally come within like five minutes of each other. <laughs> yeah. So that means but they yeah, were no, already no, to, mad. To, to be fair though. Yeah. If like when I was going to university in Toronto, yeah. I knew like I had this shit like five years into my university. Mm-hmm. I had this shit down pat. I off the train on the subway on that cart. I'm like, I time it perfectly to the point where I am already predicting how busy the Tim Horns is going to be for my morning coffee. Mm-hmm. And like, I would get into class literally five minutes before the lecture starts where I could send in my text messages or whatever I needed to send. And then the class starts. See, that's why time is important. For if I students. miss that first subway, that first subway the whole thing gets thrown out of whack well, yeah i'm not yeah, going to say <laughs> if a man says yo that subway ride is about 10 kilometers <laughs> i guarantee you you're thumping him in his jaw because that <laughs> makes no sense i need to know oh how hard God. it takes me so i can get to timmy's on time okay but when you say canada do you mean like canada and the states no or- no canada I, in the states they use distance no, there's no way. There's no way. No way. There's I no think they do. Yeah, I way, think bro. they do. If you're there's in the no states, way you go to California and New York and they use distance. Right. I you refuse. I think they use distance too. Right, listen, remind me. My family is coming from the states at mid-August. I'm gonna ask them a question about how far something is, and I'm gonna freaking document <laughs> how they. <forget laughs> I'll, remind you. I'll remind you. If they respond in distance, just send them back across the border. <laughs> Because we don't need this. I'd be like, nah, borders closed again, bro. <laughs> Go talk to Biden and be <laughs> your again. passport is in is under investigation. <laughs> you might be in, in unequivocally closed off from Canada. <laughs> Yo, think of it this way. I was like, you're I'm impounding your car and suspending your license for 30 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. Don't do that ever again, dog. <laughs> Like, how long is 30 kilometers? I don't know. I asked you how long 30 kilometers was when I was going somewhere. You didn't tell me that either. <laughs> so, so however long that is, that's when I'll give your license You back. imagine you're sentencing. They commit a crime. It's like, yeah, you're now sentenced to 462,000 But it also, it also, it also, <laughs> that's funny. It also depict. it also matters on how the question is formatted. Because if you say how far something is, they're going to say distance. But if you say how long it will take you to get there, then they're obviously going to say time. That's the same. You have, yeah, no, you have to but, word the question because in Canada, we would say time for both scenarios. No, but sometimes if I say, um, where is Tim's? And then I'd be like, oh, there's one like five minutes down that way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. People would answer that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you tell so me you'd have to. S- <laughs> well, that, that just proves my point. You, I I've, never, I, so I've never, I've never had an instance where. <clears throat> Someone said, like, I asked somebody where something is, and they told me, oh, it's 15 kilometers past the McDonald's. You exactly. might as well tell me how many steps it takes me to get to that place, because that's yeah. not information I need. But exactly. It's like, but it's also different between, like, Brampton and um, Toronto that I learned. And this, it's also like this in the States in a lot of places. Um, for no, no, because in Brampton, in Brampton, when you ask, how far is that, Timmy? Ah, it's not that far. Yeah, well, yeah, but no, I mean more like when I if I ask for directions to somewhere, they'll give me the streets, 
left, right, left, whatever direction I have to do, and landmarks. But if I go to Toronto, this man's telling me to go east. And now oh. I have to fucking get a nah, compass, <laughs> look at myself with the, the sun, sun. Oh. and figure out what direction. You're telling me you have to walk around with compasses, dog? Don't yeah. do that. <laughs> oh, you have one on your phone, though. I don't care. <laughs> Give me streets and landmarks. Look, why are you giving me? Dire- I understand, <laughs> but I don't. I don't care. care. I want right you now. To give me landmarks. I'd rather my, if you never gave me a street name, but you said, "Yeah, that McDonald's with the weird, weird arch and half of it is not lit up." If you hit that, you turn left. It's perfect. The so, only time I accept distance is if they're giving it to me in blocks. So, like, I understand what a block is. So, if you tell me to go three blocks that way, okay. then I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three intersections, I'm gonna be there. That's how I, that's fine. But don't tell me it's 200 meters down there. Don't do that. So, because right this now, is not a sprint. This is not so a race. Right now, I'm facing 220 degrees southwest. If you want to go to McDonald's, Andre, from my location, you have to go hundred and about eighty-seven degrees south. Okay, but they I'm don't. I'm glad do we're it not that- in person, bro, because I probably <laughs> would have threw my mic at you at this point. <laughs> That's how it works, That's bro. They say go southeast or whatever, bro. They're not gonna give you the friggin' the direction, exact, the exact degrees of distance. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good. I was never good at that though. Like, You're I still I, not good. I, I know I, when I see a compass, I know what north, south, east, west is. Yeah, but if someone told me, "Hey, with your fingers, point where south is," I wouldn't be able to do it. I would have genuinely zero idea. I can't do it. Listen. Oh shit! Hold you on. You know what's fucked about, Ooh, that co- would about hurt. compasses? What? I just I learned recently that there's a difference between the magnetic north and then the true north. Yeah. So your compass, it it gets attracted to the magnetic north, right? So oh, if the fuck, magnetic yeah, so pole shifts and you're not going and you think you're going true north, but you're actually going like west, you're fucked. Like you don't know how to get there. Because but does it decided, shift that does it shift that different? Like is it that different? I I, I remember reading an article where they're saying the I don't think it shifts as 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 much over time, but then mm-hmm. it just they, apparently they say it goes through random flips. Where like north and south completely flip, and then the Earth gets like menopause or something. I don't know, and and then everything is. In so disarray. what you're saying is, if I'm an adventurer in the forest and I'm yeah. using my trusty compass and I get one of those flips, I am now dead because all my Pretty resources <laughs> are now gone because I packed for three days and now I'm three days in the opposite direction. This yeah. is what you're this is me. a top five coolest apps I've ever seen in my life. By the way, Bro, this man's still playing. I'm with playing with it right now. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> All I'm, I'm saying to... is that you're gonna see geese migrating north or south, and then the pole flips, and then they just collide in midair, and now you just have dead geese. All over the land. How often does this thing flip? Like, is it like a common occurrence, or is it like very super rare? Let me Google this. When because was the like, last polar sh- uh, magnetic pole shift? I'm thinking because there's times when my dog is trying to take a shit, and like sometimes he he can't fucking line up with anything. So obviously the Earth. Forty two thousand years ago, apparently. Oh, well, all right, so it's rare. But we're <coughs> due for another one, which is when? I don't know. They're saying it's speeding up. But isn't the magnetic fields like affect like all our solar stuff? flares? Yeah. So they're like, yo, if this happens and a solar, fl- like say the magnetic pole shifts to like over New York and then a solar flare hits, New York is that's basically why like is EMP. all of that happening at the same time, <laughs> though, bro? Like, why are you trying to blow up the world? G? <laughs> <laughs> yo, you remember that scene in The Dark Knight when Alfred? was like he was talking to batman about the joker and he's like some people can't be bought with money they don't want any possessions some people just want to watch the world burn <laughs> that's you i was <laughs> so con- so perplexed by that statement i mm-hmm. shut off my tv i'm joking that's me but i don't see, know what it is here's the I thing like fire <laughs> i am like partially that but also <clears throat> I'd like some money. So like you could probably buy me part of the reason why I'm like that. And it's a very strange reason. And I've had this reason since I was like 12 is because of geese, because 
<laughs> okay. They, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I just feel slighted every time I see them because they have more rights than me. Because they can cross the street. No one honks at them. If you hit them, you get a fine. Do whatever. You? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you can't. You can't hit them. You can't hunt. So in my head, I'm like, okay. But do you get a that's... fine if you hit a raccoon or something? No, no, it's just the species. species are protected. That's speciesism. Really? Whatever. That <laughs> great know. Canadian goose. What I'm yeah. thinking, right, is if there's ever a food shortage, what I think joke. this is what the government has planned all along, but they kept it on wraps. When there's a food shortage, there's so much geese, right? And they eat good. They eat grass, bro. They eat their, their <laughs> poo is green, bro. That's so clean. Just because it's the only grass. <laughs> exactly. So imagine, imagine you hear on the news, oh, there's a food supply shortage. There's no uh, more beef so and chicken coming in. What do you think happens? It tastes like duck? Bro, I Googled oh, it. Apparently, they have more iron than beef, pork, and chicken. They have a good, a really good supply, uh, I don't know, supply of vitamin B6 and uh, protein. What's vitamin B6 for? No idea, but I guess your body <laughs> needs it. <laughs> I think it's for probably for like your immune system or something. I Are you know. just making that up? <laughs> did I, you... Bro, I, I googled it and I took a screenshot. Oh, so oh. you actually did no, it's okay. Yo. You don't have to look for it. I just <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure that that guest came from somewhere and you weren't oh, no, just no. like you weren't just pretending like <laughs> you oh, knew no, what no. it was. I was like, because I'm thinking, right? Cows yeah. eat grass as well, yeah, but their shit is brown. Geese. Their shit is green. Like, how much cleaner do they have to eat? But also, a lot also of cows. Because, it's also because isn't the oh cows are fed grain too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't it also the reason why? Uh, because bird poop, especially, is like incredibly acidic. So it comes out. It doesn't come out like with with cow doo doo or it's literally it, cylindrical it, tubes. There's fiber is in it? that too. Yeah, bro. Because I live because. There's a pond. There's like two ponds by where I live. So whenever it's mating season or whatever, there's just geese shit all over the grass fields, all over the sidewalks. It's literally like, like you know, when your dog takes a shit and mm-hmm. it's like cylindrical. Mm-hmm. Imagine that, but like green pellets. Green, yeah, yeah, bro. Really? Green, bro. I thought Forget. I thought geese shit was like seagull shit, where it's like no, oh. it's 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 basically like they took grass, they put it through one of those sausage oh. tubes, and just went. <laughs> And just get like chopped green on mulch, bro. <laughs> and they just formed it together. Oh, so it's like it's like those ones where you know those land, land the landscapers put the holes in the yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The like the pop. aerators. Well, I, yeah. I, I credit you. It trips me out so much because I get those confused with geese shit. But that's <laughs> but they're how, those are brown, bro. I know, but when it rains, they're both dark colored. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm just not gonna put my hands in. Trust me when I say I went to Waterloo, bro. It's undergrad. Be it's like, trust me, I know about geese shit. <laughs> Knows. and also and yo, because yo they get so hype during mating yeah. season yeah mating season is dangerous I'm bro all them bro. <laughs> i don't care how crazy it sounds i'm eating your listen, family listen and it'll be there was um a jerk geese <laughs> imagine that imagine i'm probably the first jamaican to jerk geese that's a delicacy from i don't care what anybody says <gasps> i will i will i will grill i'm vegetarian this is how i'm talking bro <laughs> This is a 10-year vendetta. I will grill geese if you say there's food shortages. I promise. <laughs> That's good. That's what, kind good. Of seasoning? Sorry, sorry. what kind of seasoning are you starting with? You said he's jerking it. Jerk, oh, true, true. turmeric, black pepper, and some thyme. Done. Maybe some basil. Yeah. But uh, does, is there any like record of how a geese tastes? Probably gamey, I guess. Like <laughs> chewy. Think so? I don't yeah, care. Bro. I'm eating it with delight. I don't know. Is the, have you ever had duck before? I'm like I, have, I don't like duck. I don't think I've had it before. So I, I feel like, like I feel like it's before. similar to that. I'm assuming. I don't know though. No, but yeah, sure. but we had a we had a like an exercise. You know those things, those what do you call the community centers where you do sports and shit? Yeah, yeah. One of those big buildings at our school. And then there's like these stairs to go up and enter the building. And then during mating season, there's a goose made a nest right under the staircase so you just see like students trying to go freaking go to the gym or like go play intramurals and then this geese just like pop out on the stairs and just start snapping at them and you'll see them like running jumping i saw a kid fall down the stairs bro it was like uh 
It's dangerous. And we had an app. We had a litter app that outlined every goose um goose nest that was known. And then so you could open it up and avoid them throughout the campus. That's how bad apparently, it was. Apparently you can roast geese. And apparently it tastes succulent and sweet as an alternative to roast duck. But not not Canadian geese, because people don't eat that, do they? Do people eat Canadian geese? I was thinking those like white gooses geese. Yeah, why did I say white geese? Why did I say gooses? Because I'm sure you. Could, I'm sure. I'm sure you could find if they find out. Oh, so what if you do this? So you what can if... have holy shit? You can own a permit to kill geese. Uh, the killed geese can be consumed by the permit holder. Oh, you so can't you can kill it. Canadian geese. Okay, so what if? What if say this? The geese are flying um north. Maybe someone accidentally gets clipped over the U.S. border. Yes. Somewhere near the U.S. border. And I just drag it over the border and then do finish the job there. Is that okay? Is it legal then? I won't tell anybody. I mean, or, no, actually, can, no, can, because can that's you... illegal. That's smuggling a goose across the border. <laughs> no, that's so, so that's just go to the States. Bro. Go to the States during migration. <laughs> But they don't go to the States, do they? Bro, this is what you do. Where do they go? Do. I don't they even go know. South, they go. No? they go to like Michigan. No? Yeah. Oh, like so they do Michigan. go to the States. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so then I could just. States. Yeah. So they're not even there, Canadian, bro. They're just. They live they're here Canadian in the summer. They're continental <laughs> geese, bro. <laughs> they're, in the they're, they're like seasonal, those people. Seasonal yeah. Canadians. <laughs> they're like those people in the people that like have a second house in Florida and then just whenever it's winter where they live, they just go. They just move to Florida, bro. Yeah, man. But that's interesting. Yeah, but the ones in Waterloo don't. They don't migrate. Oh, they don't? No. It was probably too far around. for them. I was, uh, nah. I, was just, I was just looking at a picture of geese. Canadian geese. I'm not going to lie to you. how fat like, they look, bro. Like, looking at them, they're actually kind of cool. Cool looking. Nah, like, different. imagine the they're meat. different. They look chunky. <laughs> like that's meat, bro. That'll feed the family. <laughs> Think about that. This man's going to this man's gonna take that, remove and his whole entire diet just to take out geese, bro. Bro, I am so serious. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Because I've <laughs> never even man, killed Johnny's out before. here. Please, food shortage, food shortage, <laughs> food shortage. Honestly, like, yeah. But make, make a no. pledge to yourself. Make On this podcast, on this episode right now, make a pledge to yourself. The next time you eat meat, it's going to be Canadian geese. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> for sure. I thought you Unless, said you would. I Unless thought you I said you were going to. Ju- I was just yeah. about to say that. Unless, because I, I can't go there and not eat meat, not have jerk chicken there. That's that's, that's a sin. An no, that's that, a yeah. sin. <laughs> you might as well just like cut off my dreads, and I'll probably fight the person who does that. So I gotta eat meat, bro. That's exactly. nuts. That's what I think. And some fish down there too. Mm. Oh yeah, so good. Bro. Oh goodness, some so Akia saltfish, some red snapper. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself. I went to Jamaica for on like uh, as a uh, like a vacation, and I only ate resort food. Yeah, but oh, you were did you do like all inclusive resort? You're just on the resort? no, no, it was all inclusive resort. But I just wish like it was all inclusive. Oh, oh yeah. if you went to the markets. Yeah, yeah, like, but I, 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 wish I, I, I wish I had like authentic Jamaican food. Yeah, like authentic. I assume Jamaican you guys food. did. You guys stay on the resort like pretty much. Yeah, all the yeah, time? yeah, Is that why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we had okay, one excursion, okay. but it was kind of like not gonna lie to you, it was kind of shitty. Uh, no, no, you shitty. don't want an excursion, bro. Because yeah, you wanna, yeah. you wanna go into the city, bro. I want, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't. To be fair, though, in in my defense, um, I went there when I was in what grade eight, grade nine. So I'm like oh, okay. at that age, I wasn't thinking. Oh, I want to see the world. At that age, I was thinking. Yeah. I want to go swim in the beach. Resort. Yeah, 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 I want to yeah, go yeah. swim. I swim at the beach, right? So, I like now. If I was going now, oh the resort i i want i like i want to go see like real real culture yeah, and stuff like that that's what i'm saying if i were to do like if i were to go for a beach like if i wanted to do all inclusive i'd probably just go to like cuba or something 100 cheaper and, the and if, uh, I, if I, yeah. I said cuba because it's cheap so oh <laughs> i guess the, i was just just thinking <laughs> beach i was thinking sandals i was this like man Yo. picked up <laughs> Instagram destination spot of the Chokes century, bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. Relax yeah, yourself. Cuba, homie. Cuba, hundred percent. Cuba, hundred percent. I would go to Cuba no. only like if I'm if I'm staying at a resort. No. Cuba, it's so cheap. Then, the food, the food. People say it's so bad. It's not that bad. I can vouch for that. I heard it's they serve horse meat, bro. The only thing that's bad about 
Cuba is their is their sink water, like the water that comes oh, yeah. out of the tap. That's the only thing. That oh, it's really okay. Fruit. When we went to Spain, we weren't supposed to drink that one either. So it's yeah, fine. so it's, the same I mean, it's not like I'm I'm used to it. Yeah. But yeah, drink I don't know if I believe you, bro. What? Everyone I know that went to Cuba says the food is bad. And uh, no, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hey, I, I never know. said that. <laughs> They're all colored. They're all colored people too, bro. No, no, you're no, only, no, 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 no. You're the no, only no, one who says it's not, and you're a white boy. So I don't know if I have to. <laughs> I, I, saying, I don't know if I believe you, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm not saying their food was good. I'm not saying the food was good. Their food wasn't good. It just wasn't. But bad. it wasn't as appalling as most. It didn't people taste make like the be. horse's asshole. No, it doesn't taste that. Like it's edible. Okay. It's it's. It's not if you're hungry Damn. enough, it's gonna you're it's <gasps> Yo, if you're hungry imagine. enough, you're not you're not if you're hungry enough, you could eat a meal bro. and say, ah, that bro. was pretty good. Imagine you invite someone over to your house, you cook them food, and you're like, you're like, how was dinner? It was edible. <laughs> if I, well, I was hungry, so I ate it. <laughs> bro, I'm kicking that person out. I was like, Yeah, <gasps> get on my house. Don't ever come back. <laughs> Just disrespected a whole nation, bro. <laughs> no, Yo. just the resort food. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, we're lighting like crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man, Andre, you want to wrap it up? Yes, I am gonna bounce. Y'all have a we great could, we, time. We could actually, we Be could actually good. wrap it up in general if you want. Unless Johnny, you have anything else to talk about? Tell me, man. No, that geese stuff. Just geese stuff. stuff. That geese stuff gave me. All right, so we can just wrap yeah. it up. We can just wrap it up. Uh, it. it was what 45 episode, 45 minute episode anyways thank you so much for watching we're gonna make it short and sweet this week next uh, week we could talk about seal blubber <laughs> hopefully oh yeah hopefully hopefully next week we could uh harp seals we gotta find no, a little bit more even, time uh, that's a sad story, bro. <laughs> we could we could find a little bit more time to record next week johnny's on his <laughs> stupid post podcast recording campaign Yo, how about johnny you just tell us your fucking work schedule before it changes days before the podcast <laughs> it changes literally every week so and i don't like looking at it because i'm like, uh. so thank you so much for listening make sure to follow like subscribe tell all your friends about us uh we gotta run because andre's got work in the morning and i have to find an excuse to tell my boss i'm not coming to work tomorrow and i oh, haven't i gotta figure out myself Anyways, 24 hours. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll be back same time, same place for episode 53? 53. 53. Bye.